when that piano leaves. You don't want to be liable for... In the piano world, Steinway could be compared to a luxury fashion brand like Chanel or a high-end sports car like Porsche. These brands are known for having premium materials, attention to detail, and a reputation for excellence, which are all qualities that Steinway embodies in their piano craft. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the story of how I acquired my beloved Steinway and piano and why I am parting ways with it. This video might also be helpful for you if you are looking to buy or sell a used piano. I'll be giving some tips on what to look for when buying a piano and a few steps to enhance your chances of a successful transaction. By the way, I am not a piano seller and I am not related to any stores. I've just bought and sold a few of my own personal pianos and my goal here is to just share my experience, hopefully help some of you. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever played a Steinway piano and what you thought of it. Hello everyone, my name is Stacy Bissetti. I'm a pianist, Spotify artist, and piano instructor with a passion for helping you improve your piano skills. For the past eight years, I've had the pleasure of owning and playing a Steinway M piano that has been a constant companion on my musical journey. I bought this piano from a private seller in Texas, had it shipped up to New York City where I had the action completely rebuilt with Steinway Hamburg parts. And since then, it's been there through my musical milestones, such as recording my first album, teaching my students in New York City, and hanging out with friends around this instrument and making incredible memories. After I moved from New York, the piano went to my aunt's house on the lake in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And that was around the time that I started Started posting content online. After that, I moved it to my studio and it's been an incredible instrument, a privilege to play it, but it is time to turn the page and to move on to something new. In my opinion, the Steinway M is the perfect size for a living room. It's five foot eight and there are some specific features that I wanna talk about that I've come to appreciate and am going to miss when I am no longer the owner of this piano. Firstly, the sound is breathtaking. <laughs> Steinways are known for a rich and warm tone. It's perfect for classical music, and it can also produce a beautiful sound for other genres like pop and rock. So in that way, this instrument is very versatile in that you can play many types of music on it. Secondly, the action of the piano is very responsive. Thanks to the rebuild, the keys are sensitive. It's almost like it's an extension of your fingers as you're playing the piano. And the touch of the keys is even, it's not too heavy, not too light, so you don't have to work too hard to be able to produce the sound that you want. Finally, owning this Steinway M has helped improve my skills as a pianist. Because it has a responsive action and a high quality sound, it's helped me improve my techniques and push my playing to new heights. So it's been an honor to play the instrument and I know that it's going to bring so much joy to its next owner. So why am I selling this Steinway M piano? You know, it's because I've kind of become a piano collector and I've realized that consolidating three instruments into one primary instrument would be most beneficial in that I can just focus on one piano and truly make it my own. 
In a way, pianos are like friends in that they come into your life and sometimes they're there to stay for your entire lifetime and other times your life evolves and you realize that your life takes a different direction and it's just time to move on. And now with the birth of my first child, I feel it's time to start a new chapter, to bring a new piano into my family's journey. And although it's bittersweet to say goodbye to this piano, I know that it is going to bring so many great memories to its next owner. And it's a pleasure to pass it on. As I've been in the process of selling my Steinway piano, I've had a variety of experiences with potential buyers. I let him know that yes, it's in great condition, but there is a slight imperfection here and there. And if you look at the shell, you might see some scratches, some dents, but it is a used piano, so this is expected. Also, there is a slight buzz on one of the keys. If you're buying a piano, it's a good idea to just play each key as you're going up the piano to listen for the quality of each string to make sure that it's even. So if you repeatedly play that key, which I don't know why you would do that in a song, you might notice that it has a slight different quality than the other keys. This is the one here we replaced, where the, the, the black thing is, okay, that's the one, so. When it comes to payment and logistics, you need to be cautious because I've had potential buyers wanting to show up at the time that the piano moves and pay me with a personal check. I always recommend that the buyers pay with a cashier's check or a wire transfer and that they take care of any of the moving or transportation costs because you don't want to be liable for any damage if when that piano leaves. That something happens during the transportation. this thing. Stairs are problematic. Usually you have to hire a moving company to do something like that. Yeah, your husband approves that. <laughs> approves getting a moving company? Yes. My He's husband back. is my moving company, so... <laughs> up your chances of making a sale quicker make sure you have good pictures and possibly a recording of the piano demonstrating the sound of it some people want to hear the piano before they make the trip out to your place to check it out um, make sure you have a fair price and any other documentation on the maintenance of the piano. Now let's say you're in the market to buy a used piano. There are a few things that you should keep in mind before making a purchase. First off, what size are you looking to get and what style of piano do you prefer? So knowing these questions beforehand are going to help narrow down your search and find the right piano for you. When you do start looking at pianos, make sure you take time to inspect the instrument thoroughly. Look for signs of wear and tear, such as scratches and dents, and pay attention to the condition of the keys in action. 
it's also a good idea to have a piano tuner inspect the piano before you make the purchase. Buying a used piano can be a bit of a gamble in that there is a level of risk involved. If you don't want to buy a problem, you could buy a piano that is needing constant tuning. For example, if it hasn't been tuned for years and they didn't maintain the piano at all, then when you bring it into your house, you're going to have to tune it and then tune it again in a few months try to maintain the tuning because it's automatically going to want to go back to the tuning that it was set at for a long time. Um, so that could be expensive. Like we usually want to have it tuning like two times a year and it seems like the going rate depending on where you live in the country is from a hundred dollars Following these tips, you'll be able to find the perfect piano for you and enjoy many years of music making. So to help you in this process, I created a guide on what to look for when buying a used piano where you'll find many tips and guidance in this process and you can get that in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video and for listening to this story. If you have questions and comments, please leave them below. Keep practicing and stay blessed. Bye.